In the verdant world of organic gardening, myths sprout as plentifully as weeds. But which ones hold water, and which ones wither under scrutiny? From the supposed magic of companion planting to the alleged necessity of chemical pesticides, there's a lot of misinformation to weed out we're going to root around in the facts, using an evidence-based approach to separate the flowers of truth from the weeds of myth. Join us as we dig into the soil of truth, debunking some of the most common organic gardening myths. One of the most common myths is the effectiveness of companion planting. But does this time-honored tradition really work? Let's start by understanding what companion planting is. It's an age-old practice where different plant species are grown together, with the belief that they mutually benefit each other. The idea is that certain plants can deter pests, improve soil health, or enhance the growth of their neighbors. This method has been passed down generations, and many gardeners swear by it. They'll tell you that planting basil next to tomatoes will deter pests, or that beans planted with corn will improve nitrogen levels in the soil. It's a charming concept, isn't it? The idea that plants, like humans, thrive better with companionship. Now let's dig a bit deeper and see where the truth lies. Scientifically, the effectiveness of companion planting is hard to prove. Studies have shown mixed results and it's difficult to attribute the success or failure of a crop to companion planting alone. There are simply too many variables in a garden environment, like weather, soil type, and pest populations. Experts in the field agree. They suggest that while companion planting can play a role in a diverse garden, it's not a foolproof method. A well-balanced ecosystem is more than just pairing plants together. It's about creating a diverse environment with a variety of plants that attract beneficial insects and promote soil health. It's about understanding your garden's unique needs and adapting accordingly. So, what's the takeaway? While there may be some benefits to companion planting, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's not the magic bullet that will solve all your gardening problems, and relying on it exclusively may leave you disappointed. Instead, consider it as one tool among many in your organic gardening toolbox. Remember, the key to a healthy, thriving garden is diversity, balance, and a keen understanding of your garden's specific needs. So, keep experimenting, keep learning, and most importantly, keep growing. So, while companion planting can be part of a diverse gardening strategy, it's not the magic bullet some believe it to be. Another prevalent myth is that chemical pesticides are a necessity for pest control. But is this really the case? Let's examine this belief a little closer. Contrary to popular opinion, the use of chemical pesticides is not the only effective method to control pests. In fact, relying on these chemicals can lead to a host of problems. They do not just harm the pests, but can also negatively affect beneficial insects, the soil, and even the health of the plants themselves. Over time, pests can develop resistance to these chemicals, leading to a vicious cycle of increased pesticide use. But here's the good news. There are several natural methods that can help control pests effectively. These techniques are sustainable, cost-effective, and don't have the adverse side effects associated with chemical pesticides. One such method is the use of beneficial insects. Yes, not all insects are pests. Some insects, like ladybugs and praying mantises, are natural predators of common garden pests. By attracting these beneficial insects to your garden, you can keep pest populations in check naturally. Another effective method is crop rotation. This age-old technique disrupts the life cycle of pests, preventing them from becoming a consistent problem. By changing what you plant in each area of your garden every season, pests are less likely to establish a stronghold. Then there's the use of homemade natural pesticides. These can be made using common household items like garlic, chili pepper, or vinegar. Not only are these concoctions effective against pests, but they also won't harm your plants or the environment. And let's not forget the power of healthy soil. A strong, vibrant plant is less likely to fall victim to pests. Maintaining soil health through composting and other organic practices can significantly reduce pest problems. By implementing these natural methods, we can create a balanced ecosystem in our gardens where pests are managed effectively without the need for chemicals. As we can see, organic gardens can thrive without resorting to harmful chemical pesticides. Many believe that organic gardening is a luxury, expensive, and out of reach for the average gardener. But is this truth or fiction? Let's delve into this preconceived notion. To start, it's essential to understand that organic gardening is not about purchasing the priciest, branded organic products on the market. Instead, it's about embracing nature and working in harmony with it. And nature, as we know, doesn't send invoices. Consider composting, a cornerstone of organic gardening. 
It's a process that transforms kitchen scraps and yard waste, which you would otherwise throw away, into nutrient-rich soil. Not only does this eliminate the need to purchase chemical fertilizers, but it also reduces waste, making it a win-win situation for both your pocket and the environment. Next, let's talk about seeds. Many gardeners buy new seeds each season, but in organic gardening, you can save seeds from your best plants and use them the next season. This practice is not only cost-effective, but also helps you cultivate plants that are best suited to your specific garden environment. What about pest control, you may ask? Surely organic pest control methods must be expensive. Not necessarily. There are numerous ways to control pests naturally without resorting to costly chemical pesticides. For example, you can encourage beneficial insects like ladybugs and lacewings, which are natural predators to many common garden pests. Or you can use simple homemade solutions, such as a spray made from dish soap and water, which can be just as effective. Additionally, organic gardening methods, like crop rotation and intercropping, can improve soil fertility and pest control, reducing the need for external inputs. And let's not forget that these methods also contribute to the overall health and resilience of your garden, potentially saving you money in the long run by reducing the need for disease and pest treatment. So, organic gardening doesn't have to break the bank. With the right techniques, it can be as cost-effective as traditional gardening. And remember, the real wealth in organic gardening isn't measured in dollars and cents, but in the richness of the soil, the vibrancy of your plants, and the overall health of your garden ecosystem. Many gardeners shy away from organic methods, believing they are too time-consuming. But is this actually the case? Pause for a moment and let's think about this. Have you ever considered that the time you spend in your garden is not just about work, but also about pleasure, relaxation, and fulfillment? Gardening, after all, is not merely a chore, but a labor of love. Now, let's delve into the belief that organic gardening is a time thief. The truth is, it's not about the method, but the gardener's approach. Ineffective time management could make any gardening method seem time-consuming. Let's consider composting, an essential part of organic gardening. You might think it's a drawn-out process, but it's mostly nature doing the work. You simply collect your kitchen scraps or garden waste, pile them up, and let the decomposition process take over. It's a way to recycle organic materials, reduce waste, and improve your soil's health. And the best part? It doesn't require your constant attention. What about natural pest control? You may think it's time-consuming to introduce beneficial insects, birds, or other natural predators into your garden. But once established, these helpers maintain the balance, keeping pest populations under control. Again, it's nature doing most of the work. And then there's mulching. Yes, it takes a bit of time to apply, but it's not a daily task. Mulch helps retain soil moisture, suppress weeds, and enhance soil health. It's a one-time investment that pays dividends over time, reducing the need for frequent watering or weeding. Organic gardening does require some planning and preparation. But the work you put in creates a self-sustaining ecosystem that saves you time in the long run. You're not constantly battling pests with chemicals or dealing with soil depleted of nutrients. Instead, you're working with nature, letting it do what it does best. So, the next time you hear someone say that organic gardening is too time-consuming, remember this. It's not about the time spent, but the quality of that time. Organic gardening doesn't have to consume all your time. With smart planning and the right techniques, it can be as time-efficient as any gardening method. We've debunked some of the common myths about organic gardening. Now let's focus on what really works. Evidence-based organic gardening techniques are not just a trend, they're a revolution. They're about understanding the intricate web of life in our soil and using that knowledge to grow healthier, more resilient plants. Composting, for instance, is a simple yet powerful method that enriches the soil, reduces waste, and helps combat climate change. Then there's mulching, which not only conserves water and suppresses weeds, but also improves the soil's fertility and structure as it breaks down. And let's not forget about natural pest deterrents, plants like marigolds and herbs like basil that can help keep pests at bay without the need for harmful chemicals. These practices are backed by science, they're sustainable, and they work. They help you create a garden that's not just lush and beautiful, but also healthy and resilient, and the benefits go beyond your backyard. By embracing evidence-based organic gardening techniques, you're contributing to a healthier environment. You're reducing your carbon footprint, conserving water, and promoting biodiversity. You're also nurturing your own health by growing food that's free of harmful chemicals. 
but perhaps the most rewarding benefit is the deep connection with nature that organic gardening cultivates. It's about working with nature, not against it. It's about understanding and respecting the natural cycles and rhythms of the earth. Embrace the truth of organic gardening. Your garden, your health, and the environment will thank you.